We have another example problem here. The image of a tree on a slide is 1.8 millimeters tall. It is to be projected onto a screen three meters from the slide and is to appear 493 millimeters tall. What type of lens is needed? What focal length of lens is needed? Okay, so slides. Slides would be the film that you could get. And so we have this little tree on this slide. And it's telling us the height of this tree is 1.8 millimeters. This slide, though, is the object that we put in front of a lens. We shine light through it. And then the light goes through the lens and there is a screen over here where we will see the entire slide, but they're telling us that the tree portion of the picture appears to be 493 millimeters tall. Okay, projected onto a screen means this absolutely must be a real image. I know this already. This is actually why I drew the screen on the right side. For my lenses, real images are on the opposite side of the lens compared to the object. Okay, this three meters, so it's to be projected onto a screen three meters from the slide. What that tells me is the distance from my slide, which would be oriented, uh, we would only see the side of it. It would be oriented differently than I drew it. But they're telling us the slide and the screen are three meters apart. The slide to the lens is S. The lens to the screen where the image is located is S prime. So we can say S plus S prime has to be three meters. Because they give us the size of the image, this 493 is H prime, and the size of the tree on the actual slide is the height of the object, we can find the absolute value or the magnitude of this magnification. This image is much bigger than the object. which is part of the purpose of a projector. All right, but keep in mind, magnification can be positive or negative. So coming to this table we have from the test notes, Magnification is positive if our image is upright. It's negative if it's inverted, if the image is inverted. But we know we must have a real image because this image is projected onto a screen. Only real images can be projected onto screens. That means S prime is positive. So when we think of the equation for magnification, to get, if S prime is positive, but the equation has a negative sign in it, we will get a negative answer for magnification. 
real images, if you draw yourself a nice little ray diagram, anytime we ended up with real images, they were always inverted. So magnification is negative. So for this problem, we can say magnification is negative 273.89. Now, we know this is equal to negative s prime over s. So we now have two equations and the same two unknowns. s prime is the image distance, s is the object distance. So if I solve for, excuse me, s prime, for example, s prime is going to be 273.89 times s. Those negative signs on both sides were on both sides will cancel, which means s prime is going to be positive, which makes sense from the table below. We know we have a real image, so s prime needs to be positive. <clears throat> if I take this and plug it in over here. S plus 273.89 S is going to equal 3 meters. So S 274.89 is equal to 3. So S needs to be 3 over the 274.89. I'm getting 0 0.01091, that's four sig figs at the moment. I'll round it to two at the end. This is in meters because this three was in meters. Okay, I have S, which means if I plug it, plug it back in here, I find S prime is that S value times that magnification. This will be in meters, which notice how close that is to the three meters. So now we can find the focal length using the equation that relates S, S prime, and F together. So one over S minus, or plus rather, one over 2.989. I'm getting. 0 0.01087, and that would be in meters. So two significant figures, these two guys right here will be significant. So 1.1 centimeters is the focal length of this lens. We've come up with a positive answer. Coming back to our table, lens focal length is positive, so we have a converging lens. Which, if you remember from the ray diagrams, only converging lenses by themselves will give, you, give us a real image. Diverging lenses give us virtual images. So notice S, the object distance, that slide is just barely outside the focal point, which is why we get such a large 
image that is so big.